What's up everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. So a metal alloy is 30% copper. Another metal alloy is 50% copper. How much of each alloy should be used to make 400 grams of an alloy that is 37.5% copper? So what we're trying to find is the weight in grams of each of these alloys. So I'm going to let X equal the weight of the 30% copper alloy. And then I'm going to let Y equal the weight of the 50% uh, alloy. And so what's happening here is that if I sort of draw this as a diagram, let's say that this here is the first alloy that we're going to be using, the 30% copper. So this alloy here has, let's say we shade this in here, 30% copper. And the weight of this alloy here, we don't know, some kind of weight X, plus the other alloy, that has 50% copper, some kind of weight Y. That's what we're going to be solving for. And when we combine these together, what we're going to get is an alloy that's 400 grams and that has 37.5% copper. And you could shade this in here too, just to keep it consistent with the other ones. Right, so some kind of weight of this alloy, which is 30% copper, and then the other 70%, some kind of other metal, and then we have this alloy, the weight Y, which is 50% copper, the other 50%, some kind of other metal. When we combine them, what we're going to get is 400 grams of an alloy that's 37.5% copper. So what we can do is set up two equations here. The first equation that we can set up is just the total weight. If this has a weight of X and this has a weight of Y, and then when we combine them, it's going to have a weight of 400. So we know that X plus Y is equal to 400. The next equation that we can make is the weight of the copper, right? So X plus Y equals 400. That's the total weight of each of these alloys. And then we can look at the weight of the copper. So the weight of the copper in this alloy is going to be the total weight, which is x, 30% of that weight. So it's going to be 0.3x plus 0.5y. And that's going to give us 37.5% of 400. 0.375 times 400. So it's like this equation deals with the total weights, and then this equation here deals with the copper weights, because the weight of this amount of copper plus the weight of this amount of copper has to equal the weight of that amount of copper. And we can actually multiply these two. 0.375 times 400 would actually just give us 150. So it's 150 grams, right? 37.5% of 400 is 150 grams. So of the total of 400 grams, 150 grams is going to be the copper, and it's going to be these two coppers added together. 30% of this weight plus 50% of this weight. And now notice that we got our two equations. And uh, to solve these, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use Substitution. So what I'll do is I'll actually isolate. Let's isolate for the X. So X would be 400 minus Y. And then I'm going to take that and plug it in for this X value. So what we would end up with is 0.3 times 400 minus Y plus 0.5 Y equals 150, like that. And so now 0.3 times 400 that would give us what, 120? 0.3 times negative y is minus 0.3y plus 0.5y equals 150. And now we can solve for y. Notice we have an equation in terms of one variable. Bring the 120 over. 150 minus 120 gives us 30. Negative 0.3 plus 0.5 gives us 0.2. Y, so we can divide both sides <coughs> by 0 0.2. 
30 divided by 0.2 would give us 150. And then we could solve for x because x is 400 minus y. So 400 minus 150 gives us 250, right? So the answer is, um, Of the 30% copper alloy, we would take 250 grams of that and then combine it with 150 grams of the 50% copper alloy. And then that would give us 400 grams of an alloy that is 37.5% copper. And then you could check these two answers. You could plug them into the original equations, make sure left side equals right side.